Hi YouTube, this is New Mama Mia coming to you with a update from my phone. So, uh, hopefully this will update. Today is the 20th of May, almost 21st of May, which means that we only have a few more hours, less than 48 hours until my surgery, which is on the 22nd of May. Um, just a recap for those of you who, if you are coming into this uh, a little bit late, um, I'm having a vertical sleeve gastrectomy on the 22nd of May in San Antonio, Texas at Methodist Specialty and Transplant Hospital with Dr. John Pilcher, who's freaking amazing. Love him to death. Um, so I just uploaded a video um, from my phone that was filmed on Thursday, and for some reason it just took me forever to upload it because it just would not upload. Um, but I am doing that now. Um, so I'm filming this from my phone because I had a, f a couple of things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, uh, as far as what I am using. So, first things first, I'm sorry my hair is a mess because I'm just not, I'm just not. Um, all of my things. Okay, so, yeah, I really should do this with my hair. Um, anyway, um, so first things first, my supplements, I finally got them. I decided not to go with bariatric advantage just because, um, right now it's just not feasible for me to use them. And I kind of found some other stuff that actually is pretty yummy, um, that I like. Um, so I wanted to show that to you guys. Um, so first, um, this is, um, Citricate, uh, cal, cal, caltrate, 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 there we go, caltrate, calcium and vitamin D, 600 plus D, um, plus minerals, um, and it's chewable, it comes in cherry, orange, and fruit punch flavors, uh, each tab has, um, has 10 calories but um and two carbs or two grams of carbs um but it has um 400 iu of um vitamin d3 and 600 milligrams of calcium i'm supposed to take 1500 um things of calcium a day which is split over three um, time one tablet three times so that's 1500 so i'll be getting um 1600 or i'll be <laughs> Um, I'll be getting 600 each instead of the 500, so that's 300 extra, um, grams of calcium a day. So I figure more the merrier, why not, it won't hurt. Um, I also got Centrum Chewables. Um, these aren't the best ones. I found better ones, but I really wanted to get vitamins to take, um, because... I just think it's really important that I have all of my supplements beforehand, at least have something that I'm going to be taking. But, um... This has 5 calories and 1 gram of total carb, and it has 100% of everything except for biotin, calcium, and vitamin K and vitamin A. Because <sighs> um, obviously, um, calcium and, and stuff, you can't take that together. Um, it doesn't have a lot, it doesn't have hardly any phosphorus or magnesium or manganese, chromium, or molybdenum, whatever that is. So I'm looking for a complete chewable. Um, it's just, I just happened, the Walmart I happened to go to just was really out of them. Um, this was not that uh, expensive. This one comes with 155 tabs, so, and this was $15. And so that's roughly um, a month and a half, a month and like 21 days worth of calcium if I take it as I'm supposed to take it um <clears throat> my doctor wants me to have an iron supplement so I got this iron supplement um this one is only um 28 milligrams he wants me to have 60 milligrams of iron and I can't find that anywhere except for bariatric advantage um so I'm just going to take um one in the morning and see if I become anemic. And if I become anemic, then I'll talk to him about it. But, I mean, I know it's not a good thing to be anemic, but, like, this 128 milligrams is 156% of the daily value that you're supposed to have. So, I mean, I'm going to talk to them and see if I, I'm going to talk to the nutritionist as well, see, can I take one, take, take two of these, one in the morning, one at night with each, uh, each vitamin or whatever. 
Um, I also got um, Sublingual B12. I love B12. It tastes so grum so yummy. This is a thousand micrograms, um, and it's sublingual. Um, so, and to go along with that, I got this pill thing. Um, I have this for my vitamins, my prescriptions, um, iron and B12. In the AM, I'll just show you one. Um, in the AM, hold on, let's see if I can, there we go. Um, that's the vitamin, the iron, and the B12. Um, in the PM, I have the vitamin and that's one of my blood pressure medicines. My doctor, uh, my surgeon changed the other one because it had um, hydrochlorothiazide in it, which is a diuretic, as most people know. But it also um, it also decreases potassium, which is a essential nutrient or whatever it's called. Um, so for surgery, um, I got gas X strips because I saw that Amy O Book New Look and a lot of other people say that they have. A lot of issues with gas usually feeling it here um, my doctor said that I'll most likely be at be um, released from the hospital on that Wednesday which is the next day I'll only be in the hospital for one day um, so he said that um, so with that in mind I was gonna ask him if it would be possible to take gas X strips for gas pain because I know that stuff is just not comfortable <laughs> at all um so I showed you guys my new protein powder which I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm not doing too well with these protein shakes things I've just basically been eating only one meal a day because I'm supposed to do two meal replacements in one meal it's just because it it's just not the business like it's these protein drinks and these protein shakes are just not they just don't taste good and, like, I've gotten to the point where I'm not hungry, and I know that I should follow my surgeon's orders to the T, and, like, it's kind of late now that I'm, you know, almost, um, you know, surgery is pretty much here, but at the same time, it's just, like, you know, it's tiring. Um, one last thing I wanted to show you guys was something I stole from Diminishing Sweetie 89 speaking of which girly get on that um, but it is Mia's weight loss chart um, it has me from my start pre-op start weight which was 243 that's the one I'm counting because I ballooned um, up to 256 or 250 whatever it was 256 I think but um, I'm, I put it at 253 or uh, 243 um, because that was pre-op. Pre my pre-op diet started, I was 243. Um, and I have it all the way down to 135. Um, so my first big goal is 223, um, because that's, um, that's, uh, 20 pounds down from 243. I had to think about that for a second. Then my next goal is 199 because obviously that's Wonderland. Um, my next goal is um, 175 because that was the weight that I was at um, when I graduated. No, it wasn't. It was the weight I was at um, last time when I was in high school. That was the lowest I got down to on that one diet I did, I think. Um, then 150 because that will be um, just because 150 I think because it's just a good weight I just want to see 150 um, and um, 143 because that will be officially 100 pounds down and that is my surgeon's goal weight for me and then 135 which is my personal goal um, it's my goal to have a weight range from 143 um, to 135 I think that that's a really um, a really realistic um, a really real realistic uh, expectation to have for myself not quite 10 pounds but um, it may seem kind of arbitrary to some people but it, it works for me because I, I want to stick between my personal goal and my surgeon's goal for me um, and I think that that I think that that's doable. Um, so I'm basically giving myself a year 
um, to try. I'm trying. My my goal is to take a year to get down to gold. We'll see what happens. I know that that honeymoon stage, the first six months, um, is where a lot of the real work, um, a lot of the, the, the big bulk of the work happens. Um, but I figure, I know how I feel now, and I am 100% dedicated to my weight loss. Um, I'm down 22 pounds from my highest weight so far. Um, I just got, you know, just got 100 pounds to go, um, basically. Yeah, I'm I actually have 99 pounds to go to my um to my uh personal goal. And I think that that's that's crazy to me. Um that's crazy to me. Um so hopefully everything will go uh as planned on Tuesday. I am a little concerned because I'm not quite sure since I haven't been following my surgeon's goal um guidelines to a T with the protein drinks. Um, and just have been kind of like not eating anything. I, I kind of feel um, I'm concerned. I have I have lost quite a bit of weight, obviously. So I feel like with me having lost weight, that my liver would have shrunk. But me being the worrier that I am, I'm just kind of concerned. Um, I want to make sure that I have lost enough weight um, and that uh, everything is a okay. And I wanted to leave you guys with. Um, Something that my surgeon put um, in this document, this big document that said, titled Operative Permit for Vertical Sleeve Gastrectomy. And um, there's a lot of stuff. Um, but one thing I wanted to, I wanted to read to you guys. Um, it says, not all patients lose all the weight they hope to. Inadequate weight loss may arise from a surgery, surgically correctable problem, but more commonly, weight loss fails and patients fail to work with the surgery to dramatically reduce their calorie intake and establish a regular exercise program. The latter problem cannot be altered surgically. So, and I mean, that kind of really just stuck with me. I mean, they, this document had so much stuff on it about, you know, the risks, what's going to happen, protein, nutrients, all that type of jazz, but... It really stuck with me because you think, okay, weight loss surgery is the only proven treatment for obesity. True, we know this. Um, there are diet pills, there are diets, all that stuff, but weight loss surgery is what you know, the medical association, all these other people say that is what works. Um, and But the thing is that not all things can be fixed through surgery. It does still take the exercise, does still take the diet to get where you want to go and to maintain the weight loss. So I'll leave y'all with that. Um, this, this video is 13 minutes long, so I'm going to go. But um, thank you all so much. I'll post another video. It was the night before.